This video will give you a complete overview of how to customize your visitor portal. The custom portal is an excellent way to create a welcoming website for your visitors and match it with your brand image, including your own URL, color scheme, logo, and web pages without any technical knowledge. In the admin area, the general tab is the starting point for personalizing your portal. Each portal comes with its own URL. You can change it or use your own URL by connecting to an already existing foreign domain. If you don't know how to, our help page will provide you with step-by-step -step guidance. The themes section allows you to select one of our pre-created themes and even select an accessible theme if you require it. Accessible themes are useful for users with visual disabilities. If you prefer to not use the accessible themes for all users, you can tick the checkbox so they can choose to activate this theme by themselves. Even better, you can create a custom theme based on your institution's brand colors by clicking on Add Custom Theme, then selecting Custom Color Values. The Visitor tab is probably where you're going to spend most of your time, configuring how your portal will look to visitors. There are two types of portals. A simple portal that provides a login box, and a full portal that provides a mini website complete with a customizable homepage, a class catalog, and whatever other pages you may choose to add. To edit the simple portal, click on Edit, under Portal Visual Editor. Here you can change the logo image and text, as well as the background color and pattern for the login page. When you finish configuring it, click on Admin to return to the Visitor View tab. The full portal is much richer in information, yet as easy to configure as the simple one. To access it, click on Edit under Portal Visual Editor. The first element of the full portal is the header. Here you can choose between a transparent or white background. Upload your institution's logo and change the color and shape of the login button. You will also notice that the header has a few default pages such as catalog, calendar, news, contact, and so on. These are portal pages that you can edit and enable to better showcase what your school or university has to offer. The next editable elements are the panels. Panels are sections in your visitor portal that have a point-and-save interface. This means you can click to edit, move, or delete them. When you add a panel, you will notice there are a few different panel types. Carousel, counters, image blocks, and so on. Each of them has its own settings but shares the same point-and-save interface. Let's go over the already created carousel panel. The carousel panel contains slides. Each slide contains custom text, images, and call-to-actions. As soon as you edit the text, image, or call-to-action, the change will show on the full portal. If you do not want these changes to show straight away, then go back to the panel menu and hide the panel by clicking Hide under Configure. Panels not visible on the live view will have this hidden eye icon. You can always view the live version of the full portal under the Live View link. To change the order of the panels, press on the ellipses icon, then drag and drop them in the order of your choice. When done, click on Admin to return to the Visitor View tab. Your portal also has a footer section that can be organized in the same fashion as the portal pages. Next is the Terminology tab. Here you can add substitutions that will replace keywords that appear on tabs, buttons, headings, instructions, and tips. To add a substitution, click on the Add button and write the original and replacement in singular lowercase. The capitalized and plural versions are handled automatically. Now that your portal is created, you can also index it with the help of the SEO tab. Allow your portal to be found by search engines to reach wider audiences. Change the meta description to include the keywords you target. And choose custom robots and sitemap files to override the default ones to tell search engine crawlers what pages to crawl and in which order. On the Social Media tab, you can add links to your social profiles and select whether they will show up on the Visitor View or User View. The Custom CSS tab is useful if you'd like to add custom styling. For instance, you may want to style a custom HTML panel or a custom page on your visitor portal. The Custom HTML tab is useful if you'd like to include custom JavaScript on your visitor homepage for a third-party integration like a support bot. Lastly, 
You can access the More tab to configure miscellaneous items such as setting a session timeout, enabling CAPTCHA to avoid spam, adding Google Fonts, and more. You're now ready to create and personalize your own custom portal in NEO. Sign up today for the NEO free plan and join our millions of happy users.